What's up traders, it's Nick here and welcome to another breakdown. As usual, I will be keeping it as educational as possible and also practical. So without further ado, let the intro roll and I will see you on the charts. Okay, so it's definitely time for an update on the situation that currently we have on USD JPY because the market has just created exactly the move that we wanted to see from our previous breakdown. So now it's time to make an update and see where we can be looking for the next opportunity on it. As usual, I will be keeping it as educational as possible. First, I will be speaking about the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And obviously by using the combination of our technical breakdown and our order flow breakdown, we will be able to understand where we can be looking for the highest probability setup on USDJPY. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we see now here on the monthly? The first thing that we can clearly see is that the market has been respecting quite precisely this extremely strong historical structure level for USD JPY. In fact, this area has been acting as very strong support here, again, support here, again, support here, again, support here, and again, support here. Now, what we can see is that at the moment, the market has just broken below this very strong support. Now, as you know, in the market, once you have a support area that gets broken, to the downside, at that point, the previous support is turned resistance. It's a very simple concept. Previous support, once it is broken, is turned resistance, and previous resistance, once it is broken, is turned support. In this case, we have previous support, which the market broke with this impulse to the downside, and all the previous support is now turned resistance here. And what we can see is that currently the market is testing this previous support, which is now turned resistance, from which we can easily expect the market to provide a rejection to the downside and possibly create a lower low. Now, generally speaking, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. Now, generally speaking, if you take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse, what you expect is for the market to provide a retracement at least to the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse leg. But in this case, what we can see is that the market went all the way up and retraced to the 50%, so even a deeper correction. Now, if you're asking yourself, why is that? That is because the 50% was lining up the best with the structure. So the 50% was the Fibonacci level that was aligning the best with the previous support. Now turned resistance here on the monthly time frame, which means that here we actually had a confluence of resistance that we did expect the market to test before a possible rejection to the downside, which is in fact exactly what the market did. So here in the monthly, we're testing strong confluence of resistance, and we can expect more continuation to the downside. Let's go down on the weekly time frame and see what we have here on the weekly. Now on the weekly, we can see that at the moment, the market is finding quite strong resistance at the previous weekly high. In fact, from here, the market had created this rejection to the downside, and currently we're testing the exact same resistance from which we have already seen that the market has started rejecting the area to the downside. Going down on the daily, what do we see? Now here on the daily time frame, I had spoke about USDJPY quite a few times in the past. I spoke about USDJPY after this W formation. When the market was here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here. First, we wanted to see the correction and then the continuation to the upside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. Then when the market was here, we made a, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here, we expected the market to create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then from here, I made another breakdown explaining why I wanted to see the continuation to the upside. And again, that is exactly what the market gave us. And with the very last breakdown, what did I explain? I explained, I explained that above this high, we had a lot of stop losses because that is how basically the market moves. Market makers, so hedge funds, what they do is they, they try to go and hunt stop losses to generate the liquidity that they need to actually fill in their orders because at a given time in the market, the amount of buyers and sellers must equal because for every buyer, there must be a seller. 
However, if there isn't enough liquidity for them to actually place their massive orders, then what they do is they generate that liquidity. So they go and hunt stop losses to actually a grab and generate the liquidity to then obviously sell. And in fact, what I said in that previous breakdown is that clearly above this high, we had a lot of liquidity. So we expected the market to go and grab that liquidity, hunting all the stop losses before creating a rejection to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link all this previous analysis in description. So you find all these previous breakdowns in description so you can go and check them out for further reference and more free education. Any questions or requests for the next videos, make sure that you leave them down in the comment section below. Also, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. Now, at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next potential opportunity on USD JPY? Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders perspective, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market, what we can see is that with the last reports, hedge funds have been increasing their net positions. In fact, with the last report, we can see that we went from having 34.6K net positions to 37K net positions with 6K lungs added with the last report, reaching 66.7K lungs and only 29.5K shorts with an overall 35.5% long exposure and basically half the short exposure, so 15.7%. However, there is one very important thing to notice. If you look at the long term, net positions have decreased. So we are still not sure if the manipulations here are over. We still don't know if the market will actually go for another stop hunt before providing the move to the downside or if it will manage to create the continuation to the downside from here. It all depends on whether or not they were able to add all the short positions that they actually want to add. So how we will be approaching this kind of opportunity with students. Now, what we know is that at the moment, the market has broken below the previous high. Now, this area here was strong resistance. The market created a fake breakout with this move to the upside. And at the moment, this previous resistance is now again resistance here. So what we can be do, what we can be doing is basically being reactive and not predictive. So if the market will actually retrace inside of this area, then inside of here, this is exactly where we will be monitoring price action with students from a reactive and not predictive perspective. Now, the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. When it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are basically the four hour and lower. So when the market will reach this area inside of here, what we will be doing is monitoring price action with students from a four hour perspective. And we will be waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bullish market as we will have to a four hour bearish market. If everything will remain bullish, then basically the market will easily go and hunt the stop losses above this high. On the other side, if the market will shift from a four hour bullish to a four hour bearish market at that point, we will be adding USD JPY to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside and create a lower low. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you get all the rules of my rule based strategies and then you trade them live with me each and every day. I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops and take profits as well as answering all your questions every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program, I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.